Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we're going to be installing the Ubisoft client. I really hope that you heeded the warnings of the first slide of the video. Mouse and keyboard and my dolphin tricks and tips video is really going to help you out. So before we get started here, let's go ahead and make a games folder inside of the home directory on your Steam Deck. You can name it whatever you want, just remember what it's called. Uh, you can just create a new folder through Dolphin. This is where we're going to be installing if we don't want to install it in the Proton Prefix, but we do want to install it internally. Obviously, we're going to download the Ubisoft Connect, save it in our Downloads folder. We'll open up Steam, and we will add a new non-Steam game. Browse, go to our Downloads folder, and change file types from Desktop to All Files, and choose the Ubisoft Connect EXE. You may have to scroll around to find it inside of Steam, but select it, hit the gear, hit Properties, go to Compatibility, and we're going to choose Proton Experimental. These things tend to break frequently, and Proton Experimental always gets the fixes first. All right, we're ready to run it for the first time, which will actually do our installation of the client. We'll just go ahead and accept the defaults. And in just a moment or two, it will install the Ubisoft client. Okay. What you do not want to do is run it at this point in time, right? So go ahead and click Next, but do not run it. Uncheck the run. It's just going to get in the way if it does that. Hit Finish. Okay, great. Now we're going to go back into Dolphin, and we're going to go to our Compat Data folder. If you don't have that in Dolphin, go watch my Dolphin's Tricks and Tips video. I promise you it'll be so much easier. Okay, so we're going to be in our Compat Data folder. We are going to sort by modified, and we're going to look for one that says just now. This is the Proton prefix that Ubisoft just installed into. So now we're going to drill and drill and drill until we find the Ubisoft Connect Launcher EXE which should be fairly obvious, ubisoftconnect.exe. We're going to right-click it and select Copy Location. This is going to give us the full path and the file name. And we're going to be ready to paste that into our Launcher option. Go to Properties, go to Browse, and paste it right in here with Control-V. It only works with a real keyboard. Otherwise, you're going to need to navigate through and find that exe on your own. Okay. Now we're ready to run it for the first time, not as an installer, but as the actual client. So the first run takes a moment, and on first run, it's likely going to be updating itself to the latest version. While it's doing that, we are going to helpfully do something else while we're waiting. This could take a while for some folks, uh, less time for others. So in the meantime, let's go back to Dolphin, into that Proton prefix that we found earlier, and we are going to go into Drive C and we're going to create a sim link from games on our local folder into the Drive C Proton prefix. Then we will sign in. I recommend Remember Me or you'll be typing your password over and over again. Okay. So, out of that. Blah, 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 and we are ready to go. So, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is set the client up to automatically download to the internal storage, but not in the Proton Prefix. So right now, if we were to leave it right here, it would install in the Proton Prefix. Instead, we're gonna go navigate to C Games. We just created a sim link. This games folder isn't inside the Proton Prefix. It is, in fact, on the, off of the root of home. Let's go back, check it out. So this is our sim link, and here is the original folder. It's in our home directory, so if I go in here, if I were to install a game, that's where it'll install to. Okay, so let's go ahead and assume that that's where we want it to go, and let's install a game. Okay, you'll notice I have plenty of free space. No more of this 6661 or 61777, all that's gone now. It will work, and as it installs, we can go back and check, and you can see for sure that it's installing in home slash games, not inside the Proton Prefix, thanks to the sim link. And you won't have any problems as long as you have free space. So pretty easy peasy, 
That's the way I like to do it. I like to separate my proton from the gains in case I ever want to change protons or delete the protons and then come back to the game later. Now we're going to install it into the prefix folder. All right, so we sort of had that set up before, but I, most people aren't going to want to install it in the prefix. So now we're just going to go back and set it up to install in the regular C drive, program files, x86, and Ubisoft. Okay, so that will install it on the internal storage, but it will install it along with all of the support Proton prefix files. Most people don't want to do that, but if you do, because you want to be able to delete the Proton and the game all at the same time with one single delete, then maybe that's what you want to do. You can see we got plenty of free space here, so the 777 problem is gone. Next up, how to install it on your micro SD card. This is pretty easy. Most people already know how to do this. Go to your E drive, which should have your SD card mounted. You could go through the file system here and go to run, media, your card, and then choose a folder for it, right? But you'll find out it resolves to E, usually. There you go. So now it is set to my micro SD card. Now let's install a game. And you'll see I really don't have enough free space on my micro SD card. <laughs> I don't have enough free space. It's not because there's some weird limitation. It's just because my micro SD card is pretty full. So that's how you get it onto your micro SD card. Again, pretty simple. Three different ways of doing it. Um, me personally, I will install it into this SimLinked games folder because I want to have the game separate, but I want it inside my internal storage. Next up, let's look at a couple of settings you're probably going to want to alter here. Um, under, uh, let's see, general, here is the elusive enable in-game overlay for supported games. This is the one that will nag you if you're playing Far Cry 6 and it says, oh, your GPU isn't compatible, blah, 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 and you can't get rid of it. That's how you get rid of it. Go in here and uncheck it. I also want Ubisoft Connect to go away when I close it. So I'm going to take that minimize U, uh, Ubisoft Connect out as well. Those are the big ones, right? And now that we're no longer using the installer, we actually are using Ubisoft Connect. Let's go ahead and rename our shortcut to Ubisoft Connect. That will also help us get some magic artwork from the Steam Grid DB, which we'll do from gaming mode. Okay, a couple of things we'll do real quick. I'm gonna go into my controls, I'm gonna turn on the back grip buttons, and I'm gonna set my bumpers and click sticks into those back buttons. Believe me, your life will never be the same if you do that. Okay, now we're gonna go in and change the artwork using Decky Loader's Steam Grid DB plugin. I'm just gonna buzz through this real quick, and now I have a full-blown solution. All right, thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, you guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armandro, thanks for watching, and take care.